Okay, we're gonna do a quick project. Uh, I wanna put some new wheels on this. Um, so I did have the uh, the TSLs on there. Eh, they're too small, they're 25, but when they're when they're aired down, they're only like 23 and a half. Um, and I have my other set of pit bulls, which these are uh, um, uh, pit bull rocker XORs. They are 26.5 by 11. Uh, 12 inch rim. So I'm gonna put these on the stock rim, which is right there. And I got to thinking about it the other day. So one of the uh, the good dudes um, got a channel, uh, Tennessee Mountain Homestead. Go watch his stuff, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, he's building, a, he's got a John Deere off-roader. Um, he does some pretty cool stuff up there. Um, so go check out his channel, uh, Tennessee Mountain Homestead. But anyway, he was putting some tires on uh, in one of his videos, and he has a, a Harbor Freight tire changer just like this one. I've had this one for over oh, uh, 20 years or some, something. Close, 15, I mean, it doesn't matter. But anyway, they're pretty much the same. Um, and I have changed so many tires on this thing, from full-size truck tires, as long as I can get the hub over this, um, it, it works really well. It's compact, I bolt it to the floor here, I move it out of the way when I'm done with it. Um, but I'm gonna put these tires on today, on these rims. And I noticed that, and I'm not saying anything against him, uh, and he knows this, him and I have talked about it. But I was telling him, he was, so he ripped the tire off like he normally would, and then when he went and put it on, he put it on here, cranked it down tight, and then started with screwdrivers and tire spoons and things. Um, to put the tire back on, which I thought was strange because this bar that comes with it, um, it's got the end, you know, everybody knows how to break the bead, I'm assuming this goes in there, you bust it down. This breaks the bead, or not breaks the bead, but also pulls the bead off, pulls the tire off. But this end is the end you use to put it back on, and it didn't seem as though he knew that and I told him I would make a video. Um, so this just happens to be, um, I'm gonna change some tires, and so I'm gonna go through the whole process. I'm just gonna let the camera run as I change a couple tires. Um, uh, maybe people know, maybe people don't. I don't, I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead. So when I got the tire on here, I already broke the, or I already took the valve stem out, because you gotta do that. Um, then I broke the bead already. I'm not gonna go over all that. Uh, maybe I'll break the beat on the next one too. Um, but this is the process I do, um, and then I'll send this to him, and I hope it helps anybody that doesn't know. So uh, maybe it will. Okay, so what I like to do, you get these old tires, they're kind of hard. Just spray a little lube in there, just something to help it out. Anyway, you take this end, right, which got the flat part. Push the tire down on one side. I told you, all right, so you got your lip started, right? You go on one side of this, that tire off okay now when you're doing the lower same thing you don't have to flip it over you pick the tire up now I'm in the lower bead and I've just banged that tire right off it's that quick um, it's that quick these rims are in pretty good shape I'm gonna dust that up a little bit with a wire brush just to get some of the crossies off, but where it seals, looks real nice. So. And the valve stems were still holding air. I don't have any spares, so I'm not gonna replace them. Normally I do. Okay. That side's actually pretty smooth. Okay, 
So it's that quick. Rips off rag. Well, I mean, I actually have the air gun here. Any of that dust off there. Beefy. Uh, usually, I don't know if anybody knows, get this tire up here. Um, usually where there's a yellow dot, you're supposed to put it at the valve stem. I mean, on these, I'm not running down the road. I'm not running crazy high speed. Um, we're not really worrying too much about balancing, but I got the valve stem down. Uh, it's right there. So, well, I mean, we'll try to, we'll try to line it up a little bit. So, I got the tire up there. A lot of times I use grease. I haven't been because, um, and I'm not going to on this one because I'm worried that uh, this will spin on the rim. I've never had one spin on the rim, but, um, yeah. Anyway, these tires are non-directional. So sometimes you can get the first, the first put on, right? That's the right direction, center of the tire. This is the part um, that I wasn't sure if people knew. So you got the other end that's got the funky looking end on it. Okay, this is gonna ride on the rim. I mean, you can't use these on a lot of nice rims. I think they make a different part for the newer ones. And then the tire's gonna ride here and we're gonna drive it on, okay? So what you wanna do, push the tire to one side. You get your, let's see if we can get you in here. Okay, so I got this part hooked on the rim and on the, on this side. It's got to be this side. It's a right hand drive, <laughs> like it's just the way it is. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to get that tire started too. Okay, and then I spin it around a little bit. You got to be about half tire, half rim. And you got to hold it over here okay and then as you run this around don't get your finger in there when you run it around it just goes on like that now you can see these rims are a little bit wide like i'm gonna have a hell of a time getting a bead on this and i don't have a bead blaster so you know sometimes you can get Part of that bead locked but what i'm going to end up having to do is i'm going to put a strap around this i'm assuming everybody knows that i don't know um maybe don't uh you want to we can go over that but anyway that's that's how i do it so i'm going to take this one off we'll bust down the other tire and we'll get the other tire jammed on um i won't talk about it let's just see how long it takes me to uh I already let the air out of it, but I haven't broke the bead yet. So let's see how long it takes me to break the bead, throw it on here, lock it on here, and break one down and get another tire put back on. And we'll just see how long it takes. Okay, I'm not gonna work crazy fast. Um, I got my timer here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we'll, I'll, I'll pick it up. It is at zero, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna time it. I'm not gonna work, I'm not gonna work crazy fast. I'm just gonna work on changing the tire. That's how I'm gonna do it. And we'll just see how long it takes, okay? I've already let the air out of this tire. That's it, it's still on the bead. So I'm gonna bead break it. And we will uh, we'll go from there, okay? So timer, start, it's running.
Okay, less than three minutes. Less than three minutes it took me to break down a tire and get a new tire put on. So, I mean, you wanna go spend <laughs> thousands and thousands on a tire machine? Um, so, I don't know, I, if I hit a bead blaster, we'd, uh, we'd blast these back on. But anyway, two minutes, 55 seconds. So, that's not bad. So now comes the sucky part, okay? Because these, when they ship these, they're so, they're so sunk in, okay? This rim is, I mean, like nobody's business um, to try to get these to bead, okay? So I'm gonna use ratchet strap method. Um, there's a couple tricks to this that I use. All right, wanna have enough strap. center of the tire best you can I mean we're gonna get this hooked up and then we'll talk about what we got to do after that we got the hooks okay I'm gonna pull it tight I'm just gonna put a couple cranks on it so that I can make sure I get this center of the tire okay now when you crank one of these it's all gonna be great here it's gonna work out great. This tire speed. Now, you see it's just squishing in here, not around here. Okay, so it's almost touching here. But the problem is, not the problem, the solution to that is you need yourself a dead blow. Well, I'm gonna be hard pressed to get these on here. Anyway, you gotta, what that does is it evens that strap tension around that tire. Okay, it evens it. Then give her some more. Okay, and you gotta do this. You gotta even it. Tension around the tire so it squishes it the same amount all the way around. This is where you start getting warm. Okay, I got three straps on it. Yeah, I had to disperse. These are heavy duty tires. Anyway, the rim is in there. It's not barely moving. No valve core. Okay, I'm gonna show you a trick. No valve core. Hopefully we can get this. Uh, have your valve core ready. You wanna get some air in this so it starts to bead. I wanna be able to break these straps off here um so you're not tensioning them up because this tire will tension them they'll tension them things right up so i got my valve stem i got my tool okay my valve stems in my mouth my wife would have a fit so no no end of whatsoever i'm going to jam this end of my hose right onto that valve stem no valve core uh, no tire end, no tire chuck. Okay. Okay, didn't happen. Let's see if we can get. Oh, we're we're close. We're close. I can tell. A couple more of these. Okay. Even it out. I don't like using the fire method. I don't. It's just not my style. Okay, let's see if we can. No, not yet. It's closed. You'll know when it takes. You'll know when it takes air. Pop 
pop because I got too much strap wound up. But we're close. We're close. If I have to, I'll spray it. That's taking air right now. Okay. That's taking air. Okay. You want a chuck that locks on. Okay. All right, we're still taking air. Careful when you pop these, you're gonna have some tension on some of them. Okay. And you just gotta get them loose. Right? Like that. Give it some air so you don't lose it. Now comes the scary fun part of setting these beads. Okay. That one's set back side. All right, that's how you're set. Now, what I do, from where it's set, that means it was, in my opinion, the loosest, right? It blew that tire up just enough to put pressure on it to, to set it, because it seals here, not, it seals here, not here. Anybody know that? Like, it seals under here, not, it's not, this isn't the seal. So anyway, took 12 and a half. So I'm gonna bring this down to about eight. So that tire starts compressing onto this rim but still has air pressure. All right, we're about at nine, that's fine. So we'll let that sit at nine. We'll let that sit at nine while I do the other tire. You know, I mean, you can buy a, you can do the fire thing, you can do the, you can buy a, a bead blaster, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Sometimes I'm cheap, sometimes I'm not, but that tire is on. It is on there. So now I'm going to do the other one off camera. But anyway, that's how I do it. It normally doesn't take three straps. Um, normally one strap, you work that around, and then uh, you can usually get it. But these tires are pretty narrowed up, and it's not super warm out here. So anyway, I'll battle the other one on, and that'll be it.